Well, we are so excited to be back, and uh, we're not only back, but we're going to taste some of Mama Teresa's cooking. Mama Teresa. Mama Teresa, who is <laughs> Carlo's mother, yeah. and we're going to taste it today. You're 85. 85. Kalina Hora, you look beautiful. Thank you. You honey. look gorgeous. Don't Thank worry. You. At 85, <laughs> you're absolutely stunning. Thank you. So we're going to taste the food. Thank you for By the way, before we taste the food, how long have you been cooking? How long? How many years? I cook it 30 years. 30 years. Uh, she, so she but, stopped 30 years ago, but she was supervising head chefs. All wow. these big chefs oh, are coming, I, and she's getting them all heck. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't do that, don't do this, don't do that. She cooked in the early days at you. She right. cooked in the kitchen, right. making food for hundreds of people. <laughs> right, Mama? Want to laugh? Yeah. Not just that. I remember many times they would not, people wouldn't RSVP way back. Yeah. So she would, I would, I remember they would be doing weddings in the 70s. They ordered 500, 800 show up. Like, they're like, what? I, no, imagine, in half an hour, cook for the extra 300. Yeah. Okay? I get guys now, what do you mean there's five extra people? Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Your mother. You know, five, ten? She used to like a 300 last minute. We'd be out in the middle of the, uh, <laughs> near the Ontario Science Centre, yeah. renting church halls over there, and my dad would be running around, so it's a non-Italian area, but we need more bread now, 300 extra people, right? So he'd be going around all the all the convenience stores, buy all the toast bread, whatever they had, <laughs> crackers, bread, and stuff like that, and then they're, and then they're having the great, cook the last great time. Great stories. Incredible. Mama, Mama, are you proud of Carlos? Yeah, how do you feel yeah. about Carlos? What did you say about him? Yes. Say something Carlo. nice about him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she can't. <laughs> What's the best thing about Carlo? The best? Yeah. And I think he likes to me. He's nice to you. Yeah, nice. Just like my mama. Wow. He's a good boy. Yeah. He's, He's a good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> boy. <laughs> All right, shall we eat? Okay, shall we eat? Mama, no, this is your coffee. cooking. Okay. And uh, it looks amazing. This is your pesto sauce, thank right? You, thank you for this. Nasdrovia. Nostrovia. <laughs> Nostrovia. Mm. Mm. It's beautiful. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. Mm. Is this like the pesto you would make oh. at home? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, that's good. Beautiful. Oh, my God. It's orgasmic. Oh, wow. They're so good. A little, uh, you like El Dante, eh? You know what time? You know, Italians like al dente. And it took us five minutes to make it. Italians like Jews, we cook. <laughs> Don't we cook? We overcook everything, right? Let it cook a little longer. What's al dente? Mama, it doesn't take very long to make, right? No. And this is Adela. No. Come here, Adela. Say oh, hi. Adela. All right, one of our top staff. She was a waitress, Excellent. right? Excellent. Come in here, Adela. You can't see it from there. Come closer, hi. closer, closer. Hi. Closer. Here, let's try some of this. This is great. And so let's figure out. There are also. Sorry, I don't serve it's properly. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Arlo, you <laughs> serve like I do. <laughs> Listen, Listen, waiter. What yeah. about the cucumber? Oh, What's cucumber, on the cucumber? Yes. That is an amazing fresh tzatziki uh, with uh, imported Arabic labda, which is like the yogurt. Yeah. Yes. yes. And uh, tahini. Oh, the tahini is for the. For the Sorry for the hummus. Uh, so we, at the same location, we buy labna and tahini made fresh by Arabs. It's incredible, right? They have this uh, a Syrian Iraqi uh, convenience store, but it's not a convenience store. It's all like their, a supermarket. Like a little supermarket, supermarket yeah. with their stuff. Oh, I love yeah. those places. Oh my God, those amazing. are great places. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. yeah. homemade. Oh, stuff. I love those. And the lamb is that lamb? And that is lamb. lamb with the yeah, and we've done it with a chimichurri. Right, so it's a so it's a Mexican flavored lamb. So I can try one of these. Yes, please. You know how everyone talks. your diet. Your diet. <laughs> I'm oh my God, be careful. I'm you know how everyone today. talks about um, probiotics. Well, yeah, this yeah. is the number, the best source of probiotics. Really, we really. Have. A nice labna yogurt. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. How natural. is that so cheeky? Oh my God, is that garlicky? Right. Delicious. The, the texture is beautiful. Oh. So I always mm -hmm. tell our chefs. Oh, no. I'm not sure if everyone wants garlic. What is it? I go, does everyone love when you go? they go to your mom's cooking, right? Oh, you're and more. Full of garlic. So good, right? Right? Mm. So that's the way we have to cook. That's what we use a lot of garlic. garlic in where, where can people Normal, get exactly. What we, the right amount. The right amount. I used yeah. to have a chef and say, oh, we can't put too much salt. We can't put this. I go, oh, I'm would, not cooking. Would you use fresh garlic? Only fresh oh, garlic? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the flavor because garlic actually. No, no, I don't, I don't mean as opposed to old garlic. I no, mean, no, no. I as buy opposed to pre-cooked, yeah. 
you have to use fresh garlic because they, there's an they discovered there's this activation that happens when you squash yeah, the yes. you know about that yes. the activation happens right at that moment right and if you store it too long then it kind of disappears so garlic is made you should actually chew the garlic there's all that activation it's like mixing two things together and then a, a, another byproduct comes out it's and talking it. about you what you were talking about my mother what's, what's the matter looks so cute. what are you talking about <laughs> That's a good. Shot you know what they say? When you wear it on your face, right, Mama? Oh, mama, look, yeah. you can't hey, mama. Keep it's that good that I can't get it on my face. <laughs> you, know what she, you know what she does? She goes, look at you. She's so sad. Who's going to want you like that? <laughs> Come on, it's a couple of drops. Yeah. <laughs> shall we try, shall we try yes, the, uh, the lamb? We are so excited to be here. Can I use my fingers? Yes. Oh, that's the best way. Only, that's only, best only your fingers. Thank you very much. No, mama, I, you're a good cook, huh? Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> You know what's interesting, Avram? The food is amazing. But the thing about Carlo, I think, that people really love is his kindness his and his warmth. And to meet his mother, it's, uh, it's all about family. And that's really important. You know, Carlos, you know. Marty and I did 10 years of TV and that's radio. Right. Mm -hmm. And you know what we enjoyed most? Mm -hmm. Of course, the food. Yeah. We ate for 10 years mm -hmm. without stop. But mostly, we enjoyed what you're presenting to us today, right. which is love, love, and yeah. caring, and health, and the idea that your mother is here mm -hmm. working with you. Mm -hmm. To us, that's everything. Yeah, that is. And you know how important this is about love? I explain to you about that. You know, about ninety percent of, of everything is sort of water, or sixty percent, or seventy yeah. percent. And water is magical. It holds memory. It's incredible. We are actually ninety-nine percent molecule. 66 two thirds by weight because the the one percent iron metals weighs the mass is way bigger. But if you count the molecules, we're 99 percent water molecules. Now water has memory, and if you know about that Japanese scientist who actually took water and, and talked back to it, you know about that. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. Yeah. so now right cooking back. with love. Yeah. That's why I'm mentioning this. When you cook with love, as opposed to something coming out of a machine. Yeah. When that food, that water, that those atoms, that consciousness, because everything has conscious, feels your love. Love oh, that's really nice. And that's cooking with love. It's not so just a statement, it's a fact. How do you say I love you in Italian? Yes. Ti amo. Ti amo. Ti amo. Ti amo. And of course, say Polish. Kocham Ciebie. Kocham Ciebie. And in Yiddish. <laughs> uh, I love you. I don't know. It's a go. I say it in Hebrew. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. Well, we, we, love, yeah. Uh, yeah. we love the experience we've had. The For food some is reason, amazing. In Polish, so, it sounded like uh, it was an act of a statement of like war. Say it again. So it sounds like she had a <laughs> congestion a little bit. Thank you, Mama. Oh, We're going to be back again. Mama will be here. Carla will be here. Uh, Kasia will be here. And we're going to create other dishes. And we want you to tune in because there's a lot. Mama's got a lot of dishes, right, Mama? Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and Mama, you want to say, what do you want to say in Italian about Carl? In Italian. 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 Yeah. Italian. Yeah. 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 Yeah.